really. everyone Monroe still here from fashion still NYC and welcome back to my channel do not forget to like and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos today I'm coming at you with a video I thought I would never do it is a handbag collection haul video collection collective you might have heard me say that I am not a bag girl and I definitely am not i don't like have a wish list of like luxury bags or any kind of bags that i have to own i like pockets <laughs> but now that i'm a woman of a certain age in her 30s i feel that it is imperative to have a few good handbags travel bags and vacation bags to get me through because i have things and i just can't rely on other people's bags and pockets for me to stuff my things into which is pretty much how i lived my teenage and my early 20s it's true ask my friends so i'm just gonna go through and show you guys my entire handbag collection some of the bags are designer some are not some are high street like h m zara just my collection and I hope you all enjoy it. And I hope you all are doing well during this time of social isolation. I'm not sure when this video is gonna go live, probably sometime in mid-April. But right now we are in lockdown here in New York City and I am doing well. Thank you to everyone who has reached out to me, who has sent me DMs, comments, emails, just checking up on me. I've been staying in the house. I have been eating a lot. I have been doing so much skincare routine that after this is over, I am going to emerge a butterfly. Wait for it. I'm probably gonna do an updated skincare routine video too, so stay tuned for that. Enough of rambling. I'm gonna show you my outfit and then we're gonna get into these bags. And then we're gonna secure the bag. Alright love, so here is my outfit for today. Pretty basic being that I'm just going to be inside, but I wanted to choose something that would model well with all of my handbags. I am wearing this new Glossier blue eyeshadow. It's like a new formula of their eyeshadows that goes on liquid and then it dries matte. They have seven beautiful colors and this blue is one of them. I'm wearing my Ana Luisa earrings. Make sure to check them out and you can use my code for a discount. This top is actually from Target and it was one of the things I bought during my social isolation phase, which is still going strong. It's a really good material and it was super affordable. I think it was maybe like 13 bucks from Target and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So I'll put a link down to it below if you're interested. I have on my favorite jeans from a Goldie with this asymmetrical hem there and then my Chanel pearl mules. So that is my look for today. And now we'll get into the bags. So let's get started. We are going to start with all of my vacation type of bags because I seem to have more vacation bags than any other kind of handbag in my collection. And it's probably because I love to travel. Y'all know I stay in Tulum, Paris, Miami. I love going to like amazing destinations and usually that's the only time I like to carry a bag. We will start with Colt 
Gaia. All right guys, so I have two bags from Cult Gaia. You have definitely seen these bags before because they were so well known, like literally every blogger, every influencer, every person had this bag. I think it's called the Ark bag and it's just their wooden bag. And I love this for travel. I think I took this with me to Havana, Cuba when I went a few years ago. So I've taken this bag like so many places. What I like to do is actually take like a silk scarf and like tie it around. Or what you can do is tie your things into a scarf and then put it in the bag so that it won't like fall out. It's not the most practical bag. It's definitely just a showy bag, like a little work of art. I'll put a link down to these below because of course these are still available. They come in tons of different colors tons of different fabrics now. I think they have an acrylic one that's really beautiful. My favorite bag from Cult Gaia is actually this one. It is the Lilith bag. I actually saw this once at a vintage market. This bag or this style of bag is not new. Cult Gaia is not the first to do this bag, but it is such a beautiful work of art. It has these cool little clasp here and then the bag opens. It can go all the way flat like that and also come backwards. This is actually how you store it. It comes with a little dust bag so that it's easy for you to pack into your suitcase. It is super delicate. And so when I do travel with it, I usually put it in my carry-on and kind of pack things around it so that it's protected. I love this bag. I usually put things inside of another bag and then place it into this one, but this bag is just for show. It's mostly for content. I actually wore it recently in a post where I was letting people know 10 things that they can do at home while self-isolating. So check that post out. So those are my two Cult Gaia bags. And now I'm gonna show you some more vacation bags. So I get more questions about this bag than any other bag that I own. It's kind of like a fabric, like wood woven fabric from Zara. Yes guys, Zara. It is super duper old. There's no way you're gonna find it. I'm sorry. This is one of my favorite vacation bags. Anytime I go on a vacation, I take this bag because it's a neutral it goes with everything i love the brown these beautiful wooden handles what people don't know is that this bag is super thin but it does store a ton in there like i put so many outfits in here <laughs> for when i would like go and shoot different outfits i think i recently wore this with like an all nude look in a blog post titled like how to look expensive without looking basic <laughs> definitely check that post out over on fashion still nyc anytime i wear this bag and i put it on my instagram people go crazy for it and i'm just like I'm so sorry guys but I must note that when I did first get this bag, I told people to go and get it. And Zara be doing it sometimes, they do. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite vacation bags. Now, let's get into my next favorite vacation bag, which is my Hero bag. Ugh, it has that like Moroccan style feel. What I love about this bag is these beautiful leather handles and they are made super well. Like they're so sturdy. And the great thing about them is they have this little tab here so that you can kind of clasp the handles together to keep the bag closed. And I actually really love that. And the leather is super supple. I feel like I got it last year or maybe the year before last at the Netto Porter sale. This is very reminiscent of the Loewe bag, but I actually know someone who has that bag and we compared them both. And this one was actually better quality. It was like half the price of the Loewe bag. So this was on sale. I feel like I paid like $200 for it, but I've seen it as low as like 150. They do not make it in this style anymore with this kind of handle, but they do still make them with a different handle that's this color, but it's round. And I will put a link down to that below. They are about to sell out, so. I might not be able to find it, but Hero is kind of a really newer brand. It only has been around for a few years, but their bags are just exquisite. Inside, of course, there's tons of space. You have these two little pockets here where you can put your cell phone or anything you need to quickly grab. It also comes with this little canvas bag, kind of like a little organizer for you to put your things inside. It has a zipper 
really great quality like i wore this bag when i was in miami just worn this bag everywhere it's one of my favorite travel bags and it holds up really nicely like as you can see it's kept its shape over the years so really really love this if you're into the Loewe bags, I would check out this brand first, Hero, to see if you like this instead because it's a little less expensive and the quality seems to be a little bit better. I have a lot of those kind of woven bags, like Moroccan style bags, and this one I actually picked up in Morocco. Morocco is beautiful, by the way. If you didn't check out my vlogs, I think I have three or four videos documenting my trip to Morocco head on back in my travel vlogs and check those out but I bought this from the souks like literally I feel like it was like five dollars in like American dollars so beautiful people are selling these like for so much more like online here in the states if you could ever go to Morocco you could stock up on these and probably create a whole business it has these beautiful handles this is held up very, very well because I've had this for several years. It is super deep. It fits so much. I love this bag for traveling. It's held its shape pretty much since I've gotten it. If I can find any similar ones online, which I feel like lots of brands have been making bags like this, I will put a link down to it below. Speaking of buying bags while on vacation, here is like another travel bag that I bought while in Tulum, Mexico. I have a whole vlog when me and my friends went and I bought this bag at one of the vendors on one of the main shopping streets in Tulum. So if you want more details, definitely check out my Tulum vlogs. I just love this bag. I feel like it costs maybe like $25 us which is a great deal because these sell for like so much more online here in the states the handles are really beautifully made it has kind of like a little velcro there and then it opens up it's like super deep really lovely vacation bags one of my favorite to take when i'm traveling it makes an excellent beach bag as well so next up we have this pinata tote and I cannot even remember where I got this from. I, I either got it from Shopbop or Netta Porter. The brand is KU, K-A-Y-U. It's made in the Philippines. But this bag was one of the bags that was like all the rage a little while ago. And I love using this bag for vacation. It has these beautiful leather-like <laughs> wrapped straps. Of course, this beautiful raffia in a neutral color and in black. And then inside, it's all black. It's pretty deep and it also has this little area here with a drawstring that you can close so that you can put a bunch of your stuff in and then close that so nothing ever falls out. It's an amazing travel bag. It's held its shape up so well. One of my favorite bags. I'm not sure if they still make this bag, but if they do, I'll link it down below in the description box. So we have one more vacation bag and it's from one of my favorite brands, Stod. You may have seen me go to a few of their sample sales, but I love Stod. It's like an up and coming brand. They've been out for a few years, but they are killing it when it comes to handbags. I got this beautiful like canvas handbag from one of their recent sample sales. And what I love about this bag is like, look at that. How cool is that? It has that square handle and it has that round handle. Oh, excuse me, I still have <laughs> a little bit of plastic on there. It is super chic, and like when I saw it, I just felt like it screamed like Rich B, and that's the kind of look I wanna portray. The material is really thick. It looks a little crumpled because I've had it kind of stored, but its shape returns pretty easily, and it's super duper deep inside, you guys. Like, it goes all the way down there. Oh my God, ah. oh, that's where I put this. <laughs> you guys, this is my carnival headpiece from when I went to carnival in Barbados last year. Oh my God. This is the only part of my costume that I kept because everything else was so like sweated in and disgusting. If you watch the vlog, you know that it rained <laughs> the day we played Moss and it was just, insane anywho that's my bag here from stod i actually have a few more stod bags they're not vacation like but we're gonna get into those next you guys oh my god i just found ten dollars in here yes i'm rich okay rich 
Is there any more money in here? I should look at all of these. They might have some money in them. Since we were speaking about Stod bags and how they are all the rage, let's get into one of the most reached bags in my handbag collection. You guys, I wear this bag all the time. You're probably sick of it, but it is this clear Stod bag. I think it's called the Shirley bag. And this bag was everywhere like last year and also the year before last definitely one of my favorite bags in my wardrobe because i wear a lot of color and so white goes with everything this comes in i think three different sizes it comes in a mini it comes in this size which is the regular size and then it comes in a, a huge size that i think will be great for travel love this bag one of my favorite things to do because it comes with like this little white leather pouch which is excellent but one of the things i love doing is taking like my little designer boxes like this chanel box and i love like putting it inside like that i think it's just another cool way to show off your designer goods this works even with like dust bags if you want to put your stuff in a designer dust bag or something like that it's really really fun so in addition to this white one i also have it in this beautiful kind of like cognac yellow brown color and this was actually a gift from my good friend rose at dadu chic yes my friend rose has a youtube channel and the channel's name is dadu chic the same as her instagram so definitely go and check her out she's such a wonderful friend she knew that i wanted this bag i actually wanted this one when it first came out i sent her a picture of it i asked her if i should get this one or this one and she told me to get this one and I'm glad she did because I wear this one into the ground and even though now I have this one I don't wear it as much. I find that it's a great fall and winter bag being that it has that kind of rock effect print. Love these bags. The clear trend is always in and I also like that I could take this out and kind of wear it as a clutch by itself which is what I've done a few times. Stod be killing it and I'll put a link down to these below. I still think these are available though they might come in like different colors now. They are definitely online. They do hold their shape up very well. This plastic here is very kind of strong and durable. I haven't had any problems with them changing their shape. The only problem I've had with this bag has been with the white bag that the handle gets dirty very quickly, but it's a really, good like leather and it's super duper easy to clean i've had no problems cleaning it and getting it to be pristine white again so if you're interested in the white bag definitely go ahead and buy it i actually have another clear bag but i cannot remember the brand i know they were selling this at pixie market online at one point and then a few other like little instagram shops but like how cute is this i love those tortoise shell beautiful handles this kind of like silver studs here it's just a really cool bag and of course what i did was i put one of my balenciaga shopping bags inside because it is clear you don't might not want everybody to see your tampons and all of your lady bits and so i found a little bag to kind of put inside that i actually put stuff in there's actually stuff in there i've actually been looking for this kabuki brush Next up, we are going to get into my clutches. I'm definitely a clutch kind of girl. I love using a clutch to kind of elevate an outfit. First, we will start with one of my favorite clutches of all time. I think this is a Jessica McClintock. It is Joanna Maxham. It's super old. I picked this up from Century 21 at least five years ago. I wanted something that was very chic very just rich vibes and i love it it's a beautiful cognac like brown leather with this beautiful black leather strap and the top of the bag kind of tucks nicely into that strap and then it has a few different compartments inside and i actually love wearing this a certain way i usually just put my hand in that little area and I wear it like that so I can be pretty hands-free with it. I'm not sure that they still make these anymore. They are super old but it does have a little, I don't know if you guys can see, a little buckle there that this 
automatically clips onto. But this is just one of my favorite clutches. I love using this to like elevate an outfit. One of my favorite all time clutches. So out of my entire clutch collection, this might be my favorite one ever. I could have also included this in my vacation bags, but you can't store a lot in this, so I decided to leave it in the clutch. It has this beautiful canvas material here in black with the beautiful handle, and then it opens up. You have a lot of space in there with a the little pocket, and then it has this kind of raffia, but you guys look coming apart this makes me so sad so i try not to use it very much i'm pretty sure i thrifted this from hamlet's vintage one of my favorite vintage shops it's really close to washington square park here in new york city hamlet is amazing like he curates beautiful collections of vintage accessories clothes shoes so if you're ever in new york and you want to do some vintage shopping definitely check out Hamlet's Vintage. But like, ugh, one of my favorite bags. I love, love, love this bag. I'm gonna see if I can like get it fixed because it would just be a shame to never be able to use it again. <laughs> this next clutch is a beautiful clutch made in, I feel like they, it was made in Nigeria. It's by the brand Shakudu. They actually sent me a pair of shoes as well. They hand make beautiful handbag shoes and accessories. So I'll put a link down to them below. I did a little collaboration with them at some point last year. Love that beautiful little zip. Has a lot of space in there. And just the fabric on it is really beautiful like the detailing i love that it's black and white because i don't have a lot of black and white clutches so this will be great to wear with an all white or an all black outfit just to give it a little bit of a zhuzh and last but not least we have this teeny tiny little clutch i used to be really into these clutches but now they're just they're not practical for me. My old iPhone used to be able to fit in here, but the iPhone I have now barely fits. This is actually by BCBG Generation, and it is a green clutch with like this little clasp here, and it opens up and you have some little space in there. This is a really great like going out bag, but now I can't even really use it for that because my phone doesn't fit, but I cannot bring myself to get rid of it. I've had it since I was in college for sure. And green is my favorite color. I don't have many green bags, so I like to keep it. I definitely forgot to show you guys one of my new favorite clutches. They also can be worn cross body. It is these Bottega dupe, dupe, they're dupes. Clutches from Amazon. I actually was thinking, well, I never really was thinking about buying the actual dumpling bag because for what it's for what it is, I don't feel like the price is acceptable. So I went ahead and bought these dupes from Amazon and I'll put links down to them below. They're actually fairly wonderful dupes. I've worn them during New York Fashion Week. The quality of whatever this material is, I don't think it's real leather, but the quality of it is supple and it's close enough. So I got it in this cream color. I also got it in black. And for size comparison, you can see how big it is. It's definitely a little smaller than the real large Bottega pouch bag, but still works well. It has a strap, so you could wear it kind of crossbody if you like, but why would you do that? They also come in like deeper cognac brown. They also come in, I think, like burgundy, green, a ton of different colors. They even have these Bottega dupes on Amazon that has like the cross stitching leather pattern, which is like, they cost a lot now, the real, the real Bottega ones. Love these clutches. I think they were each about anywhere from 30 to $35. So if you're interested in these, I will put a link down below in the description box and you can check them out. So let's get into my crossbody and shoulder strap bags. I probably have more of those in my handbag collection than any other bag other than my vacation bags. We will start with everyone's favorite, the Louis Vuitton Multi Pouchette Accessoire bag. This is like the it bag of the moment. It comes with this super cute 
little round bag and then these two bags one having this little gold chain and i went for the olive green strap you can also get like i feel like a pink blush colored strap i absolutely love this bag i am obsessed with it it is one of my first luxury designer bags that i bought full price I was able to get this back in February of 2020 from the Louis Vuitton store on Fifth Avenue, right across the street from Bergdorf's. If you want to see the unboxing of this, definitely check out my designer spring haul unboxing styling video. I'll give you all the details about how I secured this very coveted bag, even though everyone says it's sold out i know how you can still get it especially if you live here in new york so if you want the details on that make sure to check out that video i will link it down below in the description box so far i love this bag it's one of the bags that i reach for the most when just going out i love all of the different compartments it's just a beautiful bag every time i wear it out i get so many compliments and so many people asking me to sell this to them it's never going to happen i'm going to keep this bag forever especially being that it's one of the only luxury designer bags that i have in my collection and i paid full price for it beautiful 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 bag totally worth it worth the hype i don't care if everyone has it like now i'm one of those everyone next up i have two handbags from one of my new favorite handbag brands based in brooklyn new york it is the brand cray i've actually worked with them a few times but guys like look how beautiful is this accordion bag the color of it is just divine the leather is super supple i love the lining i love the gold hardware i love the strap this strap is actually adjustable so i can wear this bag crossbody or also on my shoulder like this i have it on the shortest size but it does go longer but i actually like wearing this bag with a shorter strap crossbody like this i just think it's super chic especially if i have like a blazer on over it i love that look and the great thing about this bag is that i just feel like it fits a metropolitan lifestyle it has tons of different compartments in it like a little zip compartment here where you can keep your keys and then it has a big zip here that opens inside where you have a ton more compartments places to keep a tampon just tons and tons of pockets even here in the back i love that it has so much storage especially when you need to be on the go here in new york city and it's just a beautifully designed bag it comes in a few different colors but this one's my favorite because i don't really have a nude bag i will make sure to put a link down to this below so you can check them out and then i also have a smaller version of their bag it's really beautiful and the great thing about all of their bags is basically all of the compartment you can store all the things you need for a night out it has credit card holders components here that zip up i mean just the space inside of these bags is what draws me to them and i love this beautiful gold strap this is perfect for a night out you can wear it crossbody like this it's super compact but it does have so many places for you to store things and that makes it a wonderful going out bag make sure to check out cray brooklyn it's a female owned small business and i mean the bags are exquisite the materials the shape everything about it is just super luxe and it just fits a metropolitan lifestyle for sure so another one of my favorite crossbody bags is actually this vintage crescent coach bag that i picked up from i want to say goodwill like years and years ago i think i paid like ten dollars for this bag i absolutely love it i just kind of knotted it because i like carrying it like this but you can definitely wear it crossbody. I don't think they make these anymore, but Coach has kind of revamped a lot of their old style bags. They have this one white bag that I really, really want from Shopbop. But I would definitely put a link down to like their collection that is very reminiscent of this. 
and it's super affordable as well just a great shape comes with like this little pocket inside and i wear either this bag or my cray neutral bag anytime i need to wear a neutral bag because i don't have many <laughs> that'll go with a lot of things so i wear this a lot and it's one of my faves and speaking of vintage bags, you may have seen this in my closet tour video, but this is one of my favorite vintage white leather bags that I picked up from the Brooklyn Flea Market. It is one of the most beautiful bags that I have. It is like a work of art. Look at those gold detailing where the body of the bag meets the shoulder strap. It also has this beautiful gold button there, but wow it's very delicate so i don't bring it out very often but i love this bag so much i could never part with it it's one of my first vintage bags and you open her up she has this beautiful little clasp here and it's just a square shape with like a little pocket it is so delicate guys it's like falling apart this bag is by freon friends i've never heard of that brand but such a beautiful statement bag i like to wear this bag on very special occasions being that it's one of the only white bags that i have and so i don't want it to get ruined but such a beautiful vintage find from the brooklyn flea market i have a few old videos from the brooklyn flea market so if you want to see what it's like like 10 years ago <laughs> and you want to see baby monroe on her youtube channel head all the way back and check out those brooklyn flea market videos but one of my favorite bags of all time another one of my favorite crossbody bags this one i seem to reach for the most if i just need to like make a quick run is this black harry on new york bag it is a local brand i will put a link down to it below but like the shape of it is just so in right now everybody's making these like little square kind of cassette tape looking bags at the moment and what i love about this bag is that it has this beautiful top handle you could take off the straps and just rock it holding it by the top handle but it also has this strap that is adjustable so it makes a really great crossbody bag and then the shape of the bag is just so beautiful it's kind of just a conversation starter you have these two little clasps here in the front you press those together and it opens up the top and then you can see how deep it is it fits your phone it has a few little compartments here for credit cards or any kind of cards there and then it has like a little pocket there for your phone but love this bag I reach for it often it's a small business so if you're interested I'll put a link down below definitely check them out last but not least for crossbody bags and it's another black bag with a cool shape is this JW pie bag I actually went to one of their events a few years ago and we were all gifted a stunning black vegan bag they pride themselves on being a vegan brand they do not use leather they have such beautiful bags now this was like one of their very first collections but since then they have expanded their collection and they have such amazing bags so i'll put a link down to the brand below definitely check them out but it's just this beautiful bag look at the shape it's kind of like a square this has that beautiful little snap comes up and then of course a ton of different compartments i'm really into bags that have a lot of compartments because i tend to have a lot of stuff and this one fit the bill this is kind of like the only square shaped bag i have as well so i thought i was done but i totally forgot about this vintage louis vuitton epi sac sew bag that i got from i either got it from poshmark or trade z i cannot even remember but it was so many years ago this was my first luxury bag that i ever purchased and i got it for maybe like 250 dollars i wanted it so badly and i used it as a camera bag for like my first two years of vlog of blogging i used to have a canon t2i y'all <laughs> if you if you blog you know that the t2i is super old but it's huge but it fit in this bag and i would take it with me for to fashion week to cover fashion shows to get pictures and this was the only cool bag i had that was big enough to hold it and like chic enough to wear 
to someplace like Fashion Week. And so for that reason, I will probably never get rid of this bag. It has such a unique shape and texture. As you can see, it has the Louis Vuitton kind of embolded in there. Starting to come apart there at the seam, so I have to go to send it off to get it fixed. But, ugh, this bag just brings back so many memories. I've come so far from this bag, but I could just never bring myself to get rid of it. It has so much sentimental value to me. That is it for my like shoulder bags and crossbody bags. Now we will get into like my handbags, the ones that I usually wear just using the top handle. So let's get into a few bags that I have from Teddy Blake. I've been doing some work with them over the past like year and a half. So you've probably seen a ton of bags from them. So let me show you. Whoops. Sorry guys, I actually do have two more <laughs> like shoulder strap or crossbody handbags. This one is from And Other Stories and And Other Stories has amazing handbags like the quality is amazing this is leather all of their bags are genuine leather i love that weaving on it i love the neutral color i feel like this is a great bag for spring for summer and for like a vacation i don't know why i don't reach for this bag as much like the zipper goes all the way around but i'm definitely gonna reach for it more now that i've rediscovered it amongst my bags it's a beautiful bag with like a rectangular shape. I don't know what it is about like this kind of fabric, but it always reminds me of vacation, travel, relaxation, you know, it's beautiful. And then we have this beautiful blue bag from Aldo from a collaboration I did with them. I don't even know how long ago, maybe last year, last summer, but I love the blue color. I don't have a lot of colorful bags and like blue is just really in right now. I love this beautiful handle. It has a really great shape and of course tons of storage for everything you need. Don't sleep on like websites like Aldo for bags because even though they're known for their shoes, their bags are pretty affordable and beautiful and very well made. guys so let's get started with my teddy blake handbags you all have seen these handbags previously in other youtube videos but like look at this look at that quality so they are all about making affordable luxury bags with the best materials this is one of my favorite it's their python bag they also have this in white and I want the white one so bad as well and in red in like a miniature version super cute like look at the detailing on that that is premium. Love, love, love this bag. I don't, I'll put a link down to them below. If you haven't heard of Teddy Blake, they are a pretty awesome brand based here in New York City. They have hundreds of bags for every single person. And then this bag has two big compartments inside with a zipper compartment in the middle. I wore this while I was in Paris and it just fits your lifestyle, especially if you need like a darker colored bag this is definitely one of my favorite looks bags like that python is something like i don't really own in my handbag collection and this is my other teddy blake bag it is like this beautiful like very kind of light gray color and you can see the little teddy blake sign there hopefully it has two handles and it also comes with this little pouch that's connected there you can also take this off but i love this in case you need to throw something quick in there like your metro card or keys and it has the beautiful kind of like velvety blue material inside and it's a beautiful blue color on the inside so i just love this bag for that little peak of blue that you get there blue is so in right now love that it has this so you can put important things and it won't just get lost inside this bag comes in so many colors like every color that you can imagine so if you're interested in very luxurious luxe bags that aren't so expensive that don't have that designer bag price tag definitely check out teddy blake i will put a link down to them 
below next bag i might probably get more questions about this bag than any other bag and i've never actually even shown it in a video it, it's usually just hanging on my closet and then i get so many dms and questions like what's that blue bag this bag is it's like a sweater material it's a thick knitted blue material it is from Derek lamb it is super old i got it from a sample sale you're not gonna be able to find it trust me it's gone it's gone guys it's gone love these gold handles and it is functional it's super deep you can put so much stuff in there and then it has like one little pocket right here that says Derek lamb i do love this bag but i've literally never worn it i think i wore it once for like a photo shoot for a blog post but other than that i have just never worn it i need to find an occasion to wear this i feel like it's definitely like a fall winter bag because of the heavy knit material but something i cannot bring myself to part with i feel like i paid i don't even remember how much i paid for it but it was fairly reasonable since it was from a sample sale speaking of sample sales check out all of my sample sale vlogs where i take you guys sample selling with me and also make sure you subscribe to my newsletter to find out about any online or any in-person sample sales here in new york city there's a link to subscribe to my newsletter down below in the description box next up this bag you would have seen in a previous youtube video from new york fashion week i went to a brand event and they gave everyone a bag from their latest collection it is from the i want to say new new or it might be new no not quite sure it's like this pink see-through kind of plastic pvc almost kind of bag it's almost like a beautiful like that nude that millennial nude pink right now it's stuffed with paper but if it wasn't you would be able to kind of see through it a little bit it does come with a strap as you can see i haven't even used this bag it still has the paper inside i did wear it in a previous video where i recreated fashion show looks i feel like the color of this bag is definitely more spring and summer and we haven't been outside yet so hopefully this will be able to be worn more dur during the spring and the summer i will put a link down to this brand so you can check them out they have such cool bags it has silver hardware and then in the back it's pretty cool it has like these three different zips it has one up top two on the side where you can store different things and they're all different compartments for each of these zippers which is pretty cool next up we have this tiny bag i actually forgot i had this bag i didn't think i had any tiny bags you know the tiny bag trend from jacko moose really in but this one is from lulu's and it's just so cute it's like this little faux croc teeny tiny bag i actually wore it recently in a blog post where i was basically telling everyone all the things that i have bought so far during social isolation because your girl has been shopping i mean like what else can you do when you're like trapped in a house big enough that you can maybe fit your phone in there or maybe not i'm pretty sure it came with a strap i have no idea what the strap is but i would never wear this teeny tiny bag with the strap it's just pointless i would rather hold it with the top handle next up you all might have seen this brahmin bag in a recent blog post i actually wore this i can't even remember the name of the blog post but i wore this recently on instagram and in a blog post brahmin sent this bag to me i feel like last month and i had to have it because it reminds me so much of the dior bag i actually love this top handle now i'm not really into top handles but i mean this is just so chic it's so classic especially if you're holding it kind of like that it does come with a strap an adjustable strap so if you want to wear it across your shoulder like that you can you could probably probably loosen it up and wear it cross body as well the way i like to wear this bag is with only holding it by the top handle as you can see it has a little clasp here that goes across like that to kind of keep it closed inside there's a ton of different compartments there's a zipper in the middle that's a little compartment here for your phone and this is one of their newer bags robin is known for their bags like i don't know if you guys can see but it has kind of like a crock effect so stunning they have this bag in a ton of different colors including this one and so i'll put this down below if any of you are interested i just love the shape of it i think it's super chic and classic something i can wear 
probably year round, but mostly in the spring and summer. I feel like this will be an excellent bag, especially with that gold finish hardware. All right guys, we're nearing the end. The last of my handbags with top handles is this Celine bag. I don't even know the name of this bag that I picked up from Rebag. It was one of the, my first, again, designer purchases and I just got it last year. I needed something that was really sturdy to travel with, something I can put my laptop in and this fit the bill. It is quite heavy, but the material of it is very durable, very supple. It kind of holds its shape. You can bring it in like this, which a lot of people wear it like that, or you can bring these sides out to create more space, especially if you need a laptop or something in there. I love traveling with this. This is like my carry-on handbag because I can fit so much into it. It's pretty much like my carry-on bag, like the second one. It does have a little bit of wear and tear like around the handles and such, but I did buy it pre-loved and I thought it was in pretty good condition when I bought it. So I'm very happy with it. I love to use it mainly for travel because any other time it's just too heavy. For the next bag, it is a built bag that I got. It is Jacqueline Moose and I picked it up from Farfetch. Look at it. It's one of my favorite built bags. These actually came in a few different colors like pink, green, I think yellow maybe. But I love the orange one. I wore this during New York Fashion Week. I just really, really, really love how this looks. Some people are gonna hate it. In fact, a lot of people did hate it when I wore it, but I don't really care. I have my own sense of style. I love that you can unzip it and put things in it, and it has this little clip here. It also has pockets. You might can't see them, but here on the inside, it has a pocket there. And there's also a pocket here, which made it super easy for me to carry around my vlog camera and a ton of different stuff when I was covering New York Fashion Week. That's it for my handbag collection. Thank you so much for sticking along and checking out my entire collection of vacation bags, handbags, crossbody bags, shoulder bags, and belt bags as well. Everything that I can find as well as the brands will be linked down below in the description box if you are interested. And if you have stuck around this long, you might as well go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And please make sure to subscribe and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thank you so much guys for watching and until next video, stay safe and sanitary. Bye.